Muy buenas a todos chicos, estamos aquí con Neon, el AD Carry del Salque 04, después de este fin de semana de playoffs que, bueno, ha sido muy intenso para ellos, eh, hicieron historia el otro día al vencer 3-0 a Fnatic en, en su primer mejor de 5 y después en el segundo que han jugado este fin de semana no pudieron ganar contra Rogue y han caído eliminados del Alec y aquí termina la temporada de primavera para ellos. Vamos a ver qué nos cuenta. Hello Neon, thank you, thank you very much for being here. You just had an intense weekend. Uh, you made history on Friday by winning Fnatic 3-0 and then you couldn't make it after facing Rogue. Uh, first of all, I would like to focus in the first game uh, in Friday. Uh, I would like to ask you, how was the series for you? Against uh, Fnatic, right? Yeah. Well, I knew we had like decent shot of beating them, but I didn't think we would actually be in the 3-0. Mm-hmm. But I, I knew that they're like not in the best shape right now, so I kind of expected us to win. And what about your performance? Because it's okay, they, they misperformed it, uh, or underperformed, uh, whatever. But how about you guys? Did you have some credit here? Oh, uh, well, I think we played pretty good. I mm -hmm. mean, we just played smarter than them on the day because we knew what kind of a uh, team Fnatic were. Like, they love to fight a lot. Mm -hmm. And as long as you just pick the good fights, then you will win, and we managed to do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, is... we were just uh, better on the day. Mm -hmm. Well, it is clear that they are not at the best uh, shape. But have you ever had you ever thought uh, that it was possible to beat Fnatic in a Bo5 uh, 3-0, like not giving them almost any chance to win? Well, considering as yes, at one point the season we had like seven games in lose streak, I would not have. Mm -hmm. Imagined it, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Esports is uh, really awesome, and things can change. So it did change for us. Hmm. Well, let's no, change. I, I don't, I don't oh, think sorry. I would have expected it. Yeah. Well, let's change to the series uh, versus Rogue. Uh, you didn't make it. Uh, what are your thoughts about the series? I think they had a clear plan of what they wanted to do, and they could. They played better uh, than us on the day, you know, and <laughs> they're just a better team on that day. Mm -hmm. What should have you changed uh, to win as you did against Fnatic? Uh, well, um, against Fnatic, we didn't have to like adapt in the series because we are winning, mm -hmm. and we had uh, like our clear game plan and how we wanted to play and win. Mm -hmm. And we, since we kept winning, we never had to change. But that same plan, like Rogue had a really good answer to. But we are not flexible enough to be able to change it. So we just tried to play the same style and eventually just, you know, lost because we're inflexible enough. But if anything, if anything I could change in the Rogue series, then I would just try and be more flexible. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking about uh, flexibility, I'd like to tell you about uh, your picks because I observed that in the last BO5 you played, uh, you only uh, played uh, two different champs, Shaya and uh, Kaisa. Was it because of draft necessities? Was it because they are your comfort picks? Uh, tell me about your picks and tell me if you should have picked uh, maybe another different champion. Well, I tried to draft for our team's strengths and uh, our strength with Schalke has been strong team fighting comps uh, mm -hmm. that are easy to like execute and if you have good team fighting you can beat the enemy so i wanted to pick champs that have really good team fighting mm -hmm. and we often pick champs that go in on other roles like uh, jungle especially so uh, and support so i kind of just want to follow up champ on this mm -hmm. and that was kind of our play style for these playoffs and it just didn't work against rogue but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not like uh, I was picking for comfort. I was rather trying to pick the best champ for us as a team in our playstyle. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I will uh, speaking about the comfort picks. Uh, you have a very different style, like Salke. I mean, uh, you guys, uh, you have your own style. You choose uh, one for players, but uh, when in this style, it is included a broken blade style, which is a top laner uh, who is picking really not usual picks. Um, is it a strategy from Salke? Is it because Broken Blade is like that? Uh, how would you explain that? Uh, well, Broken Blade is like a player who's really good and he mm -hmm. can play with resources. And we just try and use how good he is and, you know, use it for an advantage in the game. 
Yeah. But sometimes it doesn't work if you can lose too much on both sides or if you aren't able to like give back to the team. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think he's very good and we have play, played to his strengths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like a risk that you are um, willing to, to do, right? Willing to have. Well, the thing is, like in League of Legends, you either top to bot, uh, path to top or path to bot. Mm -hmm. And I think both is fine. Just like depends on the comps. Mm -hmm. And if you have a top lane counter pick, then it also makes sense that you sometimes path to top and try and get something on the map that way. So that's what we like used to do a lot because like often since this team comp thingy, mm -hmm. we would like uh, pick champions that are good for the team comp, but not good for like uh, winning 2v2 on bot. So then we kind of don't want to path into bot because we might get counter picked, you know, and then we just path the top. I see. Use BB. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I would like to change the topic now and ask you, I, I uh, speak a little bit about yourself, okay? Um, now that the season is over for you, um, how would you rate your performance during this spring split in LEC? I think I, I mean, it was my first full spring split, like my first mm -hmm. real split yeah. in LEC. And I would say that I played pretty well. Um, could have done better, but I am satisfied with how I performed mm -hmm. in most of my games. Is there any improvement that you would think or say that you have to do for summer? Well, not necessarily something that I would really just want to disclose in detail. But mm -hmm. there's definitely uh, flaws or like I know what my issues are and I know how I can work on them. So as long as like self-reflection goes, I, I know where to improve and what to do better mm -hmm. for next uh, season. And now, now that you have some time off, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to rest a little bit from League of Legends? Will you practice some solo queue? What would you do in, in a day off? Um, well, um, the usual. I'll just play solo queue stream and... Maybe play a bit less, but I still need to like play the game else. Yeah. It's just really hurts like coming back from a long break. Like this is not the time for a long break. <laughs> you can just like in the mid mid uh, what's it called in the this off season. It's like <laughs> yeah. you don't get to chill too much. You still need to play a lot, you know, and be able to like bring it back uh, in summer <laughs> to the highest level. Well, Neon, uh, to give an end to this interview, I would like to ask you a prediction of what is going to happen with this LEC Finals. This LEC Finals? Okay, I think Rogue will be G2 and mm -hmm. Finals will be Rogue Mad Lions. And I think that will be 3-2, uh, but I won't say for which team because I think both teams can win. Oh, wow, it's super it's interesting. Good. Nice. Well, any message that you want to give Neon for your fans and the people who support you? <laughs> Not really, besides that, uh, I really appreciate all the support that I get after like uh, my matches and that being positive comments or like just whatever, like if people cheer me up, like it really means a lot. And yeah, um, I'm happy for every single fan and I'll show you what I'm capable of in summer. Well, Neon, thank you very much for this interview. Uh, have a nice time off and see you in summer. Yep, see you tonight. Muchas gracias a todos, chicos, por haber visto esta entrevista. Espero que os haya gustado. Recordad que tenéis esta y muchas más en el canal de YouTube de la LVP. Hasta luego.